just go for the Bible and apply the Bible to your life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So Paul is saying in the book of Galatians, <laughs> so this is the serious stuff, the good stuff is coming now. now. Amen. Paul is saying in Galatians, are you so easily bewitched? Is it possible that you as born again Christians are so easily deceived by some other gospel? There is not really another, he says. But you so easily, you know, born again Christians so easily get deceived. Paul is saying he cannot believe that he preached the truth to them and all of a sudden they got caught with a wrong gospel, a different gospel. And he said, let the person who preached this to you be cursed eternally. <gasps> and then he says, even if we or we or an angel come and preach a gospel different than we preached to you originally, let him be accursed. Let him be condemned eternally. People who preach wrong gospel whew, is deceivers. You know, if a normal Christian is deceived, it's okay, you can come out. But the one from whom, whose mouth the deception come, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. The Bible says this was not Paul, it was the Holy Spirit. Let the one who preached this different gospel to you be cursed eternally. And he said it twice in the book of Galatians. Twice. The same, same portion of scripture. To put the emphasis that God is saying the truth. It's not so bad for a Christian to be deceived. But the one through whom the deception comes. This is wild. That's why many people want to be preachers. You need your, if you're a preacher, you need to know your story. You need to hear Jesus and only say what he's saying. Pray, Lord Jesus, I pray for grace that I will not be so easily deceived by such nonsense and wrong doctrine in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, my Lord. So out of Zion, salvation comes. That salvation is only Jesus, nothing else. Only Jesus. Say to the guy next to you, just Jesus. Just Jesus. Nothing added. You cannot add to this gospel. Jesus has done it all. Give him hand. Just Jesus. Amen. So out of Zion's hill, there's a spiritual mountain. The spiritual mountain today in the face of the earth, in a spiritual realm, is the strongest mountain there is. That is God's holy mountain. And then he says in, in the Psalms, who will enter my holy hill? We will ascend my holy hill. Those who's got clean hands and a pure heart. Clean hands and a pure heart. From a pure heart come clean deeds. Amen. We can be deceived in many ways, but if you are done, you've done that thing, you struggle to get free. Okay? Say, so pure heart and clean hands. Mount Zion is the church of Jesus. It is the greatest mountain there is today. And we are on that mountain. If our hearts is pure and our hands is clean, then the deliverer will come from Zion, meaning he will come through us because he decided to use us. We are his mouthpiece. We are his hands. When we fail and our hearts are not pure, the world is blaspheming Jesus' name. They say, look, the guys are Christians, but look what they do. They are Christians, but they flirt with the girls. They are Christians, but they commit adultery. I don't even want to go on Facebook, praise the Lord, I have not such a thing. And I don't want it. But I hear some things from Pastor Wim and Pastor Bruno. And I say, Jesus, help the church. With the one, with the same phone, you can send SMS. A scripture reading to, a Christ, to, to some unbeliever. To try and encourage him and impress him with your religious wisdom or some knowledge. On the other hand, you send an SMS to, or on Facebook to your friend. Come and see what Nice girl I'm sitting with here in this restaurant. Same person. That, that, that's a blasphemer. He will end up in hell. I promise you he will end up in hell. He's a blasphemer. He says he's born again. I don't care if he's born again. He will end up in hell. He's a blasphemer. 
He blasphemes God. You know, some of we struggle with sin. That's, that's not so bad. We at least are fighting. I mean, I mean, I'm also fighting some, some things. I mean, but the one who openly seen the scripture and then openly sit with another woman who is not his own wife in a restaurant and bragging with that. He's a deceiver and a devil. He's a deceiver and a devil with a smile on his dial. Those who I mean, struggle to get free from their sins, the sinner is welcome here if you want to repent. And those Christians who struggle with their sin, fighting their sin, they are so welcome here. Join the club. I mean, because I'm also sometimes struggling. But those who just, who are double-minded and double-faced and hypocrites, and blaspheming God's name here in this city. I don't want them here. Amen. 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 Satan guy needs to. We all struggle. We all fight the fight. <laughs> but we don't give in. In Jesus' name. Give God a hand. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Pray, Lord Jesus, grant me grace and strength to be single minded. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah.